there, let's meet Janie. Like some people you know, Janie has depression and takes medication to regulate her mood. But how does her medication work? Here's Janie's brain. Serotonin doesn't reach enough of Janie's neurons, causing symptoms of depression. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter found in the brain and intestines. It plays a role in regulating mood, emotions, appetite, and digestion. Janie's doctor prescribed her a medication that is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor to make serotonin available to her neurons for longer. What interactions take place between SSRIs and serotonin? Let's reach into Janie's brain for an analogy. Imagine serotonin is a bee. Let's start by looking at how this bee works. The serotonin bee is released by its hive, a neuron, through the front entrance, the neuron's presynaptic nerve terminal. The bee's purpose is to relay and intensify signals between other neurons. If the other neurons are flowers, the signal is pollination. After they're done pollinating nearby flowers, the bee goes home to the hive through a back door, a protein called a serotonin transporter, SCRT. This is where SSRIs come in. A bear, in this example, the SSRIs interrupt this process by binding to the alloceric and active sites of the SERT, blocking serotonin from being absorbed back into the neuron. When serotonin bees can't go into their hives, they accumulate in the synaptic space, continuing to pollinate more flowers. When discussing mental illness, it's important to acknowledge that there are harmful stigmas we need to unlearn. By opening the conversation about SSRIs, we encourage people not to feel ashamed for seeking treatment for their mental illness. Anyone can experience depression at any point in their lives and may depend on medication to manage it. Not only are SSRIs an interesting example of how drugs work in the brain, but they improve the quality of millions of lives.